Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, so I'm going to do a quick video here about how to emboss or engrave in Fusion 360 using um, uh, engrave on um, and emboss on rounded or angled parts. Um, so I had to do this recently and I have found it uh, challenging and uh, not a lot of good references for that. So I'm going to do a quick video about it. So we want to switch right over to uh, Fusion here. What you see in front of you is just a uh, palette. Um, we're going to very quickly create a cylinder, a 3D cylinder on the axis here. Um, oops. There we go. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, two and a half inches is fine. Two, three inches, four inches wide, that's fine. Uh, just make a quick cylinder just to give you a rounded edge. Um, so, what we want to do now is uh, create a construction plane um, off of, let me turn the origin on here, off of one of the origins. In this case, we're going to do it off of the, uh, the uh, um, horizontal plane here. Uh, so, the distance above the uh, element, uh, above your primitive here, doesn't really matter so much. So, I uh, just want to make sure that it's above um, in some regard and parallel, or uh, I guess perpendicular, parallel. Uh, to the edge here. So we want to create a sketch on this edge here. Um, collect on text, we'll just say fusion real quick. Um, I'll bold it. I'm going to make it a little bigger, say 0.5. Um, that's perfectly fine. Actually, we probably want to move it a little bit um, just to get it kind of centered on the edge here. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Um, it's going to cut the, the face just fine. All right, so uh, now that we have that there, here's the most critical step that I've learned. Um, you select your text, um, and um, okay, oops, cancel, um, select it, and there you go. And this little thing here where it says explode text, uh, this is the key element here. Uh, you take the uh, vector text, which you have in front of you, which are all in blue, and then you turn it into arcs or um, uh, lines. Uh, so if you click this, uh, you'll notice that it's no longer text. It's actually uh, a bunch of uh, lines with dots and points and whatnot. So quick, a little fun tip about this. You'll notice here that it is all in green. Um, that's because it's fixed. You can't move it. Um, if you do want to move it for some reason, if you were to select uh, the actual letter, oops, let's select letter here and click over here and click unfix. You'll notice how it turns uh, blue uh, versus the green that it is. Um, so now that means that you can now turn around and move it. You can move at a specific point um, or you can, oops, let me deselect. You can move the entire letter by doing the move command. Um, move it something like this. Uh, if you leave it green, it's fixed and can't do anything with it. So, um, but that's the key uh, element for what we're about to do here. So now that we have the, the text exploded, um, it's essentially a bunch of lines and arcs. Uh, we're going to go under modify and we are going to select split face. Uh, so we're going to select the face to split and then we are going to select the tool that we want to split with um, and click OK. Uh, and there you go. So it automatically turns off the sketch once you do an operation, so you just turn it back on real quick. Um, but if you rotate here a little bit, you'll see that here is the actual text that we had above the item, and then here is now the face. It is split, um, and you'll notice here that even though the text is flat, the split is arced across the edge. So, And that's what we're looking for. Um, so what we're going to do real quick, um, we're going to, whoops, let's rotate that guy. Um, we're going to do this some more. We're just going to continue. If you right click over the object and say split face, it al already has the body selected. So you just select the splitting element um, and it splits through. Um, something to note here um, might be worth showing. Uh, let's quickly show this guy out. Um, uh, something like this. Um, so if you were now to uh, see now it's 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 sort of hollow. Um, if we were to now go and say right click, whoops, right click, uh, we want to, whoops, sorry, modify shell, 
uh, split face here. Uh, we're going to select the body, select the face, S uh, here. Now, um, if you say extend splitting tool, it's going to extend it throughout the entire body. If you deselect it here, it's only going to split. Um, it should only split the top, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay. We'll split that. Uh, real click, let's do the same thing. We're going to uh, split face. Select the split. Just this guy. Okay. Right click, split face. Take the top of the eye. This guy. Okay. Here. Now, this is where it gets important. Um, so, when you're splitting something with an inner, inner diameter here, you want to split the inside first. Um, if you don't, uh, when you actually split uh, the outside, Fusion gets kind of confused and gives you some errors. Um, it's no big deal, but it's just something you need to know about. So there we go. Um, so now we split all of our letters. We can turn our sketch off. Uh, and we have uh, uh, the, spa the, the, the faces are all split. Now, uh, turn on or turn off. And now we can uh, go to press pull um, and select our faces. Now, one thing I will tell you is in the latest version of Fusion, uh, they changed something. I don't know what. Um, it takes a while to do this operation in some cases. Uh, you'll see here, you'll get the nice little spinning on the Mac, uh, the rainbow ball of death, uh, and Windows. I'm sure you'll get the you know, version you're using a little uh, blue swoop of death. Um, or I don't know if Windows 10 has them. You see one pretty quickly. So in this case, uh, we raise it uh, 0 0.25, uh, 125 uh, above. That's called uh, embossing. Uh, in this case, we are going to go negative. Um, that's cutting into the, the, the part uh, that's actually called engraving. Um, and so there you go. So what you have is a perfectly uh, uh, matched um, uh, set of letters with the uh, roundness that you were looking for. So if you ever have an instance to do this, um, that's what you're looking for there. I'm not entirely sure why this is showing up on the back side, uh, to be honest with you. Um, but it is. Um, but we did not cut all the way through, so there you go. All right, uh, so that's it. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, as always, uh, again, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up. Um, and I hope you uh, stay tuned for the next series of videos. Um, and uh, we'll hope to catch you soon. Thanks, have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.